This is Dr. Tirumani Nandan. Um, this is the first time I've met Tirumani in person. Uh, we've known each other on Twitter for many years. Um, Tirumani um, is currently based in the UK, but has worked um, uh, in, it, well, and lives in, in Mauritius and um, uh, has a PhD in, um, in AR. Um, VR. VR, sorry, not Biological AR. Biological science, well, and, uh, interdisciplinary. Yeah, interdisciplinary <laughs> by, uh, uh, VR um, from the University of Reading. And today, um, Tirumani will be talking about our engagement for change in academia. Uh, Tirumani's work um, at the Association for Learning Technology is around um, anti-racism. Uh, she runs the special interest group, the SIG, um, around that, uh, and has done work for various uh, organizations and agencies around um, diversity and representation uh, in the in the sector. So um, over to you. Hey, well, so... The reason for this is basically around uh, my work around international internationalization change. You've heard the keynote you were saying was great. So that's just a continuity and actually what leads to what you heard from the um, from the keynote. Thanks, Santanu. Just buzz me when I need to. So apparently this time I'm going to leave it here because so I can see which slides there. How was lunch? Yum, yum. Okay, you've got to be louder than that. This is change, okay? <laughs> Otherwise, I'll put you all here so that you can be loud enough. We're going to lead change here. So how was lunch? Okay. Great. Can I over deliver today and not let you sleep? Yeah. There was someone who was like, oh, there's a quiet room, nap time. No, you're not gonna nap yet. <laughs> okay, I'm going to wake you up actually. Is it okay for you to stay focused? Okay, there is like a slight, Thing here hopefully you can see there's a gap otherwise the other one we move you all there so okay good is that all right if we stay focused for the next 50 minutes what we've got is that all right so how do we stay focused you'll have to move a bit so what's your energy level right now food is digesting so okay High, low, medium, how's energy level? Low? Medium. Okay, I don't know that. Medium, okay. Medium, so we've got to put that here because change cannot happen. Oh, wait, I can't do any change if I'm touching down. So can we quickly recharge? We'll take 10 minutes actually before the workshop. I've cut through the content of the workshop so we can actually be ready for change. So, okay, the little guy on the previous slide, I'm not doing an F5 presentation, so you can't see. Apparently, he's running, he, she, whatever is running, but we, we don't need treadmill. I'm not going to force you into that, but I'll give you 10 seconds to do something. You'll need to answer something in your mind, okay? I'm probably the only person in the room to have ever, including you, in your mind. Don't tell me. Gone. Okay, my 10 seconds, so I'll have to, I will have had to be there. So now I want you to share your experience at your table. What's been your unique experience? You've got pen, you've got post-it. If you want to write it, write it. You've got two minutes. No, one minute. Now you share it at your table. You want to tell me when I have the timer because the net is the good. Okay. Remember, you all need to share, okay? <laughs> If you want. I and uh, yeah, came on as a sub, played for seven and a half. 
It's really good, but I could urge you say, I like that. That's <laughs> fine. <laughs> well, someone stole and took a shit. Time is up. Now, at each table, you had one minute. Okay, quickly. 30 seconds. <laughs> Now, at each table, the person with the longest name, last name at the table, stand up and tell me what's the most funny, unique. Quick, quick, quick. Change doesn't wait for you. Who will catch the ball here? <laughs> There you go. Stand up. Um, Hi, Lizzie. Tizzy. Sorry, what? Tilly. Hi. The the most interesting at your table. I think is Arthur Dunphy, who makes cider and has an orchard. Say again. He. I make cider and have planted an apple orchard. Nick. Thank you, Thank you Nick. Thank, Thank you, Tilly. Thank you. And now at this table, who's got the ball? Oh, okay, you've got the ball. I'll catch it for you. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, I get it. Okay. Stuart Disney in Paris struck me as the most interesting because I have a student who played saxophone at Disney in Orlando. Okay, we've got some very interesting things here. Okay. Earlier as well in the morning, I had so many interesting things in the meet and greet. So, okay, we've done that already. Now I'll tell you what, probably I'm the only one, spare the rod and spoil the child. Yesterday I was pairing the baby spider and I lost my shoe by the window. And with my height, I'm less than one meter 50. Okay, and I had to get my neighbor to come um, rescue my shoe. So I'm pretty sure I'm the only one in the room who has done such a fiasco for art. Although I've been traveling for many meetings. What was I thinking? Try to save the baby spider, right? So anyway, how many of you have a phone now? Smartphone on social media? Get the phone out. Now we'll start with change. <laughs> Grab a selfie of people at your table and tweet or Mastodon or whatever the funniest thing either about you that you shared, the unique thing about you or what was at your table, tag people at your table. You need to connect right now. Connect, connect, be uncomfortable. Start by being uncomfortable. We can take a picture of both. Oh, yeah, that's cool. 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 Yeah, <laughs> yeah, re remember to tag Alt C23 in caps letters and tag people around on the table who you are connecting to and going to lead change. Remember, change cannot be done alone. And feel free to tag me if you want. I'm on Twitter. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. 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 Did your average become a bit higher? No, I don't know. Yeah. yeah? Okay. Otherwise, I get you to stand. <laughs> so, okay, we moving along this table, you done with your social media? At least one of you. Mm -hmm. 
Good for you. Say again. That's change. That's change. That's my leading change. You don't wait. Like when I do a lot of DEI work, when you need to do DEI work, you need, when there's one person having a problem, you just resolve it. You don't wait for 100 people to have a problem. And then, oh, it's 100. Now we'll pass a law. So laws should be passed even when one person is being excluded. That's leading change. And that's where this workshop is going to take you. That's what basically this exercise was also a bit about. Getting you to digest your food and... We'll wait for Tilly. Okay, Tilly says carry on, we'll carry on. Yeah. Not very descriptive. Ah, that's fine. Yeah. So, ready for uncomfortable change? Good. Okay. So, we'll go for the free W's. I don't know if you've had time. There was a whole blog as well that was published around this workshop. I'm going to briefly cover it because if you are here, you probably all should, not you probably, you should, probably, you should already know the free W's, which is, well, if you want to scan uh, the QR code, you can read it later. It's part of the alt conference blog series. So Stuart is scanning. I don't know if there are people online. I don't know how to check it. So, so the first W is why. Why is change needed? Any quick thing? I already have it on the on the slide. Understanding how inclusive our work is. Okay. Sometimes we do work, but then have we check with everyone? Are we including everyone? We need to ask these why. And I also got on the slide, surviving is not thriving. Please, please, please. Surviving is not thriving. How many of you are actually in a job right now that you... Raise of hand, okay? I need you to be active here. How is job? Job is good? Okay, okay, that was half a hand. Half a hand. Where are the other hands? You all good? You happy? Happy? Anyone surviving here? Surviving. surviving. Surviving is not called thriving. We need change to thrive. Otherwise, what happens? We just change our job. We move from one place of unhappiness to one of the place of unhappiness. Now, the next one is, okay, no, before that, we repeat. We need to reflect and understand how inclusive our... Repeat line of should be louder come on change doesn't come with this energy we should reflect and doesn't understand exactly now who's responsible for change yeah you who who's responsible for change yeah, all, of us. all of us yeah you look at the slide anyway it was there for you to look at <laughs> so everyone every one of us including, you know, when we work in an institution, very often there is this thing between SLT, senior management, middle management, and then director, lower management, and then the cleaner who nobody even knows exists. The cleaner is actually the most important person in the building and the security. Trust me, I've been to a uni where someone stabbed, a someone, stabbed someone else in the university library on campus. So, Am I responsible? Does anyone know what I mean here? Am I responsible? There is something which is different between responsibility and being able to take to have a response. Do you understand that? Do you know the difference? Okay. So change in the sector is everyone's, everyone's business. Exactly. Now, what change is needed is obviously change that needs what needs to be done. Very often what we do in academia, we do this pretty, you know, um, yesterday I was talking to uh, a health practi practitioner who back from home, from Mauritius, we have a population of 1.3 million. They are doing a survey on high BP with only 300 people. Is 300 people representative of 1.3 million people? I did the maths. It's not even 0.000%. 000, 000, 
I need to do change. We need to do change that needs to be done. We need to do the change where it needs to be done. And the change needs to be long lasting and sustainable. Now I've put transcending the status quo for change. How many of you are comfortable with questioning the status quo? Again, raise of hand. Highly comfortable. You're surviving, definitely. We need to rescue you. <laughs> okay. So we need to bring change that is long lasting and sustainable. Now I've got, these are all from the pre-conference blog. Okay. I invite you to just go scan the QR code, write several documents that have been written around uncomfortable change. There's, for example, one which I presented um, last year with, I don't know where the pointer is here. Oh, there you go. Um, actually, this is the podcast with Santani where we discuss recruitment in the sector. And then there's one which is um, Skip Your Sleep. It's 2359, actually approaches deadlines, how a lot of institutions have deadlines on Fridays where actually uh, st students of Muslim faith have to go to do their prayer or they are having deadlines on Spring Festival. Guess what? We have students who are from Chinese ethnicity. We need to be inclusive. So they address these uh, materials, address some, some of the topics that are often skipped. So feel free to go and check that. Are we still pumped up for change? Yes, okay, good. Now we're going to briefly cover responsibility. You will have to use your pens if you've all got, otherwise I'll grab some more pens for you. You've got some post-it. And these are free areas I would like you to take into account. These are not the questions. These are just free areas I would like you to take into account. Who are the target users of your learning technologies? I'm guessing all of you are in learning tech role or some in uh, academic into what? Okay. Learn anyone not learning tech on this table? So, so what is that? It's learning tech. Okay, Le learning tech is there as long as learning tech is there. Okay, so and then whether the platform or whatever you're using. Now, when I'm talking of platform, it's not just VLE. Most people think that learning tech is just VLE. We're talking also of SharePoint. If you're using SharePoint to dub for academics to dub materials, and then you convert it into Canvas on VLE or or um, on Moodle or Blackboard or anything. So all the platforms that you use. Okay, how inclusive are they? And then what does it take to change? A platform to be more inclusive so just bear that in mind we'll come back to that later now at your table i would like you to discuss and answer this um, it's also by the way um there should be where are the qr codes yeah the qr codes are here but i don't know why they've gone somewhere so we've got some questions um and there are a set of rules please be honest don't go about at your table and say Everything is rosy at my university. We all know it's not. You would not be here otherwise, okay? Please, let's talk about the real problem. Hopefully, none of you are from the same university. Same university? You have to split up. Whatever, okay? Um, and then whatever you do, the next 20 minutes is going to lead change for me. I don't gain anything from that, okay? It's about you, how you want to lead change when you get out of alt and then the next one is changes in your hands. So you can go on that uh, link if you want on your tablet or the questions are also online. You've got the QR code. You, you now, you can now use your devices, <laughs> okay? <laughs> and we're going to talk of responsibility. So capture the name of your, of participants of your table. You've already done that, right? And then, Please add the names on the sheet because will, I would like to credit you, okay? If I write a blog or something about that, I would like to credit you because that's your work and that's how we lead change. I can't lead change and say, that's my idea. That's your idea, definitely, okay? So take time, take paper, take flip chart. We've got flip chart and all and answer these questions. Um, and for those of you who are listening at home or if you're in a team, um, on your campuses, you can also take part in this and uh, do tag this with um, OLC uh, 23 uh, in order for us to share that. So hopefully people online can do this as well. 
you can write dialog directly. The link, the link opens up a Google Doc. The link opens up a Google Doc. So if you want to write in the Google Doc, one of you, feel free, okay? Do you all have pens? You want to use the Google Doc online? What do you want to do? Now is your time for technology. I'm not going to say not to use technology. Oh, can you can you access it on your okay. on your? Okay. Good job. Oh, sorry. That's okay. One person wants to swap back. Oh yeah. If one person wants to swap back, okay, I'm not going to force you. <laughs> Say again. Uh, how about the QR code? QR code seems is it okay, the QR it's supposed to be the same thing, but yes, use the QR code then. That's why we need change, right? Someone needs to correct me. Okay, at your table, I want you to think about various levels. Now, we've got someone who is very good with recognition here. You want to get him at your table, okay? You can fight for where he'll be. <laughs> but talk about change. <laughs> the laptop is sleeping and the phone is there. Okay. Yeah, it's not my laptop, oh. but it is my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Let me let me try to open it up as well. If if you don't understand a question, let me know, okay? I think as a leader, you quite often be prepared to make the changes go through that thing. Remember to write, write your name down, okay? Can you, can you put 20 minutes on that, please? Actually, maybe it's less. Yeah, put um, 17 minutes. <laughs> No, no, no. I was just I was just gonna ask if you could put your full name. It's full difficult name. for me otherwise to find yeah. Eileen. I'll know. But the others is oh, Nick. I've met I've, I've met a few Jim, Tim since morning, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> oh, I, I'll know. Yeah. Thank you. Fabulous. Do you want us to document everything we're talking about? Yeah. <laughs> Whoever, I mean, you can write on this. I mean, you can all write, okay? Because when you're writing and when you're, talk, when you're talking and writing, it just gets in. Sometimes it's about sort of stepping in and taking responsibility, even if even if it isn't all responsibility. Mm -hmm. So when I was at the University of Bristol, I got really quite fed up that the university did not attend Bristol Drive. It was getting downright embarrassing. Here we had been going for years, Bristol University had no presence at all. Mm -hmm. So I thought, well, I won't just complain about it, I'll do something. So I volunteered as co-chair of the staff of the GBT class there, mm -hmm. and knocked on the key door. And we met up with the same thing, that and it became very positive. So it wasn't something I felt was my job, but it was mm -hmm. something I felt I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. So it was uh, mm -hmm. just stepping in. Mm -hmm. And then, then before long, we had about 10 people on the committee, not just two. Exactly. So who can be a leader? Everyone. Everyone, exactly. So including the person who's junior moors. Yeah, feel free to grab water. Yes, please. Not like that.
And why didn't it? Why weren't they there before? Well, nobody had ever got an answer. Taking initiative, right? Taking initiative. Nobody was anxious. Nobody was in the same as I was in the team. It does take people to say, "Isn't it just taking initiative?" Yeah. 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 Yeah.
the level of the conversation that's taking place. I don't, yeah. I don't feel that I have the level of responsibility or, or the level of my institution to, to march into a, an executive conversation, for example. Now, for example, but but did we say who's the leader? Yeah. Who can be a leader? Mm. Why are you underestimating yourself? Yeah. Do you think that your boss or the people in SLT know everything? Oh no, no of course. No. No, and if it was if it was at a direct senior level within the department I work in, then mm -hmm. then yes, I feel I've got more of a voice mm -hmm. challenge. I mean, I mean, and don't get me wrong, you know, there are university wide forums where mm -hmm. your voice can be heard, but very often mm -hmm. those are in relation to very specific themes or yeah. topics, subjects. Mm -hmm. It's very rare that the floor is opened up to you to say discuss whatever you think or mm -hmm. feel. Uh, certainly in, in my institution, that's, that's, that would be quite a rarity to have a, a very, very open forum. So, like, say anything, because I think okay. you just don't, you know, as a, as a senior executive team, you're probably opening yourself up to a lot of kinds of worms that probably senior executive teams don't want to open themselves up to. Well, they get the salary for it. Don't ever pity them. Don't ever pity them. They get the salary for it. Now, what, what you need to think about is how do you get to a space where you can have this conversation with that person sitting up there? Is it your level of confidence? Is it their level of confidence? Is it seniority? Is it because how you see them? Or is it because they how they see you? Now, that's what you've got to address, what the problem is. The problem is not what you're doing or how the... It's not about you, yeah, no. but it's about transcending this. Okay, you believe there is a problem. How do you transcend that and create your own solution? How do you be out there? How do you create your voices? How do you make your voices heard when nobody is giving you the platform? So that mm -hmm. one of the things you said earlier, and we were scared. I learned this when I was an undergraduate, and it was to find out who's the staff person who worked with whoever my that works is to like I had to try out for a newspaper. Mm -hmm. I'm not even going to interview the university president, right? Um, His PA was my cousin's cousin. So, you know, that's what I learned that she said, you did the right thing, keep doing the same thing, mm -hmm. access, find out who he is, and that is staff business because they have an ear. So she was able to figure it out as the president and say, this enterprising young woman came to me with fun. Mm -hmm. He only said, yes, okay, I kind of like that. It was the staff. Mm -hmm. Now let, let me rephrase something for you. The next thing, the next thing that's on the list here is promotion and recognition. Oh, sorry, is that okay if I take your example? If you were to continue with that, you clearly have something to say. That's why you were saying it, but you don't think you can be in a position to go in a boardroom and say it. Now, if you were to keep being in that situation, what do you stand to lose? What if I if I don't do anything or if I yeah. do something? If you don't do anything. Well, I mean it's very unlikely change is gonna happen. Uh, surviving or thriving? Surviving. Do you want to be in a state of surviving whole career? No, no, but I also want to be in a state of surviving, i.e. living with, with my pay. And if I march into a boardroom and tell the executives what I think, I could lose my job and then I wouldn't even be surviving. That yeah, life. but then how do you survive without being in yeah. that situation? So that's the questions you need to ask. I mean, there's, there's something else. Economic crisis is something else, okay? It's not your job because in our day-to-day, -day, we're family, we've got crisis. We've, you know, go to the supermarket, you've got crisis, you are what's this price you know that's something else but do you want to continue to survive or how do you shift that surviving your pay scale make that pay come into thriving that's that's the question here who do you go to to let your voice heard are there people like are there people there who are willing to be your sponsor who are willing to listen to you or do you create that how do you create that maybe network here and I'll see or something like that. So think of ideas, think of solution, okay? Not just a problem. We know what the problem is. We've been sitting in that problem for, we've been boiling in that problem for ages, okay? We want to come to thriving now. So it's, it's, it's yeah. It's, it's, that, that's, that's why I said it's. I'm going to be that ballsy to do it. I mean, I'll probably yeah. live stream it. Just, I've done with it, to be honest. So. That's why I said it's uncomfortable, okay? You need to go beyond what you're already doing or what you think already exists. You need to go beyond that. Otherwise, change cannot happen. I think part of that, sorry to interrupt, I think part of that is also collaboration. So if you have an issue that you thought was really strong to you and you mm -hmm. just took that as your issue, mm -hmm. kicked down the door and said, this is it, you know, I want change here. 
you might also be stepping on people that are working proactively to make that change as part of the community. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it'd be better to sort of engage mm -hmm. before you take that directly. Yeah. Because everyone's sort of playing the system, aren't they? Exactly. How many of you are part? I mean, all has so many uh, SIGs and groups. How many of you are part of some of these? Yeah. Which one? Uh, Old Northwest. Yeah, I mean, Northwest. Yeah. Northwest. Uh, AI. Yeah. yeah. Okay, there are lots of them. Yeah. Oh, what role do you play? Uh, yeah, just, just a member. Just a member. Just member the group. Now that's the language. Just a member. So that, that's because I have aspirations to go beyond that. But... So what's what's that? How do you go beyond that? Uh, look for positions of responsibility. How do you do that? By approaching those within the structure already. Okay. How do you approach them? Uh, here. <laughs> exactly. How do you now get here and how do you do it? I'll go now. Uh, <laughs> go on your phone, look up at them, see if they're online, tag them. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, you've got to do now. I'm, I'm very uncomfortable usually with the thing of volunteer. I, I'm, I'm the chair of anti racism uh, and, lo and learning tech SIG. I'm very uncomfortable with doing DEI work and paid. I think it should not be. Okay. But there should be other opportunities, not necessarily volunteering, but for example, presentations like this. Most of the list of um, work that I showed you earlier in the blog, they are collaborations that I've just worked with one or two people in our spare time. I work with him on something, with Jim on something else. It's just this collaboration, you know, not necessarily volunteer, but something that will get you a promotion, you know, something you can put on your... Fellowship. Trying to find the balance between <laughs> doing sort of unpaid labour and making a connection, helping with some initiative, doing something to make its own happen. Now that comes that comes down to you. What's your call? Mm -hmm. What's your call? Are you passionate? There are people who they'll see ten stray dogs and that's their thing. They will leave everything and take care of that ten stray dogs. Well, there's no stray dogs in UK. You wouldn't know the context. Okay, what was I thinking? Homeless people or something else. Sorry, I didn't want to, by any chance, compare these two. But that's what you have. But there is here in the UK. So how some people will just leave everything and give all their money, all their time there. Okay, you need to understand your core there. That's why I was coming back to. Do you want to keep? surviving or thriving do you want to be in your family now think of your family you've got kids do you want to be an example for your family where mom and dad is just trying trying this is what your kids are going to learn i'm just i'm just seeing mom and dad trying trying they keep trying or do you want to say i've done that and you need to learn from that okay just bring them at the next level that's why i was asking what are you to lose if you don't thrive I'll let you keep going. And we've got five more minutes. I'll give five more minutes. <laughs> I was, was a conversation about that. It's pretty yeah, it's interesting. I think it's fun to think of the stuff around you. Yeah. 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 It's awesome. Yeah. 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 You haven't written much. Are you, are you writing online? Yeah. Yeah. Hybrid. Yeah. That's the time for technology. Otherwise, I don't allow technology for change because I need you to be fully focused. Um, what is everyone's role in team for departmental change management? And also, why is that uncomfortable? Did you um, address already who is a leader? Who can be a leader? It's not one of them, but it's actually what derives from them. So no, we haven't specifically. Okay, yeah. I'll, I'll let you continue. Yeah, carry on. Yeah. Sorry, I'll, I'll scroll yeah. down so I can see what you've written as well. I mean, in, in the this is usually a full day workshop, so to mm -hmm. squeeze this and one initiated the change, but depending on the person it may then be someone higher who doesn't quite understand what that change is supposed to be about, but they just know how to do it. There's a difference between a leader and a manager. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's not the leader isn't necessarily the person in charge in terms of you know with that hierarchical responsibility that is the person managing the team. Perhaps leadership can come from any level. 
it's the yeah. peak of the discography, but it depends on what the technical thing I'm doing. Just the, the, the overall thing, just not the technical thing. Yeah. Yeah. I think that is like some dramatic and then it was very funny. When you go on, so you the person who wants to go to the yeah it's a special thing but then it's also is that the power you can put it any other way yeah but it's a desire for power and then you have this black woman telling you there's no but she can't excel we have just like about two minutes and then i'll do another activity and if we have time we'll come back to that okay uh, because the next activity is actually one of the most important so we'll carry on two minutes we'll wrap up then sometimes you are asked to come to the It's not even the direction I wanted that thing. Yeah. So, yeah. so uh, if I may ask a question, have you discussed mostly of problems or solutions the last 20 minutes? Both. Both, yeah. A bit of both. And where's the solution? 40, 60? You're talking about what makes a good leader, the difference between management and leadership. And mm -hmm. You have some good examples of what's worked. As a result. Okay. So the next activity, what we're going to do is a reflection for you. How are you going to implement change? Okay. So it's not about the problem. You already know the problem that you face in your job. I was talking right earlier, surviving versus thriving and transcend, transcending that barrier of, you know, they just some people they just stay in junior role whole career because they don't get opportunities how do you create opportunities so one moment and i'll ju just let you discuss i'll wrap there and wrap up there and we'll do that activity when you buy into that you'll have a more career yeah yeah it starts off with that in an issue and then that plan out We'll wrap up. Is that okay? Yeah. Uh, I would like to do the next activity. And then if you have time, well, there's a break. If you want to stay and continue, you're allowed to. This document is online. You can use it. Um, the next activity is actually, okay, where's the clicker? What did I do with it? Oh, over there. Now, is that okay if we wrap up this activity now? And if we have time, we come back to it? Yeah. Is that okay? So, is that okay if we wrap up? I'll continue to the next activity, which is the most important. So I step up. I need you. Oops. I need you to now repeat that. I need your energy to be high now. Okay. If you're not here, the next activity you can't do. Where are you right now? Here, here. Please don't tell me you are on the floor. <laughs> two, two hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody has got two hands or Tilly has got two hands. Okay. Yay. Okay. That table, they've got it pretty high. Here. I need you all three. I need to be honest. <laughs> okay. Okay. She, she's still on jet lag from one a few days back. Anyway. So I need, I, I step up to bring change in the sector. Does that resonate with what is needed for change? Yes. Okay. That's the spirit. <laughs> now, the next activity is actually the most important. Usually this workshop is a whole day thing. Okay. But we've kind of put it in less than 50 minutes. Now, keeping the momentum is very important. What we've discussed here, uh, I'm not going to repeat your example, but we had a very good conversation with you know, even with you, where, why, what, why, what? You need to be asking yourself every time there is a barrier, why, 
What can I do? What else? How? You need to ask yourself these questions, okay? The what you already know. You already know what's the problem, okay? And I was telling at the table there, which I probably should repeat here, if you continue to be in that situation, what are you risking to lose? Are you happy to be whole life in this situation, in that job where you just see SLT do something, somebody else do something that you have no control on? And parents in the room, what was I saying at the table over there? Anyone wants to repeat? What was I saying? Setting an example. Because if you don't show that you're transcending in job, what's the kids going to, oh, mom and dad are just trying all the time. We still don't have enough money. Mom and dad are still not getting promoted. Mom and dad are still not getting visible. And you just, this is a lot about uh, generational trauma. If you know about generational trauma, it's you've got to transcend that. Now, keeping the momentum, you've got some, say again? No, 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 no. No, it's not quitting the job. That's what transcending is about. It's being the job, but being bigger than that, than what you are right now. So you've got some green papers here and red papers here. There's something that says never leave a place of momentum without some form of action. Now, for the next few minutes, I would like you to write a pledge to yourself. So on the front, you write a pledge. On the back, you write your name, your email ID. You're not keeping that. If you want to keep it, you make a copy of it. Okay? So don't worry, we'll not be made public. <laughs> <laughs> So everyone can write their pledge and keep it and just drop it on this table or something like this. Now, what you need to do is free pledges on three different sheets, okay? Don't use the same sheet. There's plenty of them, okay? I've got like hundreds of them. So an immediate action you will take. I know your immediate action. You're going to talk to people outside. So an immediate action you will take this week, this month for change in the sector. And when I mean change in the sector, it impacts you, okay? What you will do. And then I need you to take another sheet, a second one, to write an action or commitment you will take in the next three months on your own or in your team for change in the sector. And on the third sheet, I need you to write an action or commitment you will take in the next six months, either on your own or in your team for change in the sector. Sector. Now, your time starts now. That's your thing, okay? It's not about the other person at your table. It's not about your boss. It's about you. Feel free to write. You all have got pens, right? Now, be honest. You remember the first rule earlier? Be honest and truthful. There's no point telling me something else it's you know it's you your pledge with you three different sheets okay not on the same <laughs> if you want i will silence and some deep thinking there. Remember, three different sheets, your name at the back. And if you want a copy, there's a different color on your table. You can make a copy on those other three sheets. You want to be descriptive, there's loads of sheets have a label, okay? You've got 10 minutes to write.
Now, any one of you who wants to make a copy, make a copy on a different color. So on your table, you've got yellow, make a copy of that. Again, three different sheets. Please don't take a screenshot of your phone, write it with your own hands. You can sign it also, by the way, each sheet, okay? That's your pledge. Feel free to sign it. It's you with you. Yeah, that's what this pin is for. If you want to copy for your own, I'll, I'll take it on a different color. You don't want it. So we've still got a few still writing, so we'll give them some time. Now, how was this? How did you feel? Making a pledge to yourself in public and I'm gonna see it. Liberating. There was something inside then. Hmm? More from this table. I found it difficult. <clears throat> Why? It's difficult to be true to yourself and be honest what you ask us to do. Mm -hmm. It can be demoralizing to think, what can I do? Mm -hmm. And that can you can sometimes think, well, yes, how much can I do? Mm -hmm. That's a lot where people get stuck because they find it demoralizing and they don't transcend. That's why I had transcend there. I think in addition to, to your points, um, I also found it really difficult because we're talking about complex problems. Yeah. And when we're looking at the issues that we face, you don't even know which direction you should tackle it from. That would actually be incremental to mm -hmm. make a difference. So I'm looking at my pledges and thinking, okay, I'm biting off with edits and then that end. Mm -hmm. Will that really make a difference okay. in the long run because of the complexity mm -hmm. of the problem? It's difficult to identify and say, Okay, this is actually the very issue. Mm -hmm. So I'll ask you a series of questions now. Whose problem is it? His or yours? Your, your, what you pledge, what you put in your pledge, that complex problem. Whose problem is it? His, hers, yours. Yours. Who must find the solution? Yes, it's me. So whatever number of solution, complex or simple, who's going to have to find it? So where do we start? We don't start with the complex solution. We start everything with step by step, right? So you need to, when you go back down, uh, back out of this room tomorrow, day after tomorrow, whenever you go back, this activity actually continues. That pledge is incomplete right now. And the reason why I asked you to put your email ID and name at the back, and if you've signed it, that's actually the best thing you've done. If you want me to follow up, happy to follow up you tell me you write yes at the back of your sheet but that's a pledge you've done to you and it's your responsibility to make that change happen because nobody else otherwise will make that responsibility happen that change happen and if you want to thrive in your lt role linguistic role whatever role that is is these uncomfortable moments that you need to have with you are you ready for these uncomfortable moments no, yes or no? You need to say no. Yes. Are you ready for it? Now you need to get yourself in a place where you're ready for it and you don't suddenly become ready for it. 
you get ready every day by doing one small thing. And that's why I put in that pledge. What are you going to do today, this week, this month? You can actually even like him, for example, he'll put like the next hour, literally. Some of you will say the next hour, what I'm going to do a small change, networking, talk to these people, tweet at these people or, or things like that. So that change, if you want to make a copy, you can make it on a different copy. You've got two clips, take one for you, one you leave here. No one else at your table is going to see your pledge. And this is, as I said, a workshop that basically is for hours, sadly, with compress. But what are your feelings around it? Was it uncomfortable? Comfortable? You said already, being honest is difficult. That's, that's the first thing. Everybody, like the first step. It's putting in a rush to do things that take reflection and time and mm -hmm. discussion. So, I mean, bring ideas. But I think we need to them. Yeah. I think for me it was liberating in the sense that hearing what other people go through mm -hmm. um, and kind of letting that to my own made me feel less isolated and less like we might be the only one who goes through this. So mm -hmm. I feel the discussions were really good for me, coming mm -hmm. from a different kind. Exactly. Yeah. Other words? How did you feel? It's why I'm asking you, how did you feel? It is this feeling that you need to take. It's this feeling that will bring change. More words. Aline, how did you feel? Because I'm leaving in a year, it felt liberating to think of things, specific things to do. Okay. Uh, you mean you're retiring? I'm my post. Yeah. Okay. I'm do other things. Okay. Feeling? Uh confused i've not done something like this before yeah and that's not a bad thing it's just not bad. It, yeah it just felt odd to sit down and write this the, these ideas these actions. right a reflection on oneself isn't it yeah. actually this is this is just career when we go back when you step back when you look at your family spouse ki kids relatives mom mother-in-law dad dad-in-law sister-in-law there's so many areas where we need to have this reflection and you were saying about something about time earlier time is not exactly an issue we need to know how to use that to reflect how deep to go we can actually go a spiral in certain problems i think we to kind of time up we can go in spiral in some problems because sometimes if we don't have time cut off we just go around around the same problem. We just go come back. We have no solution. We sometimes need to put time so that we can actually act because what we need to do is find a solution, try it out, find another solution, try it out. And in the process, learn. It will fail many times. Okay. We're not kids. We're adults. We fail so many times in life, in private, in our personal life as well before. So is this that reflection that you need to take to your uh, career as well? And as I said, if you've put yes at the back, I'm going to drop you an email some point in time. Hey, how is it going? You can do this um, at, at your place. You can do this kind of workshop. You can get a buddy like this or another person who's a learning technologist, maybe buddy up with people in this room, people that can hold you accountable. Yeah. Um, and it's about priorities. Um, in one of my uh, episodes um, with Solari Phipps, um, he talked about James Clay at JISC saying he um, uh, he doesn't have a dog. He says, I don't have a dog because <laughs> it's not a priority for him. This is all about priorities, yeah. about what you you value um, in your working life and in your personal life and the, and the boundaries that you set. It's really, really important mm -hmm. um, because institutions are only getting faster. There's not a slow time for working for thinking, for doing the, the work that you mentioned, Tilly, earlier, you know, about, you know, this is all great, but I just don't need some time to actually reflect. You can use, you know, things like CMOLT, you can use things like, you know, the fellowship schemes of um, Advanced HE, et etc. you know, CEDA, to do all these kind of things and to, to kind of see where you are in your journey um, as, as learning technologists, as digital education specialists. So, um, yeah, um, this is this is just a, a flavor yeah. uh, from Tirimini uh, today of things that you can do um, so in your roles the accountability accountability buddy basically is the next step okay we didn't come to that because you need to know each other a bit better but if you want to right now say okay i'm going to buddy with whoever and with that pledge you can do it okay basically that's what i was going to be if you've put yes um 
I was going to just follow up. I was not going to be exactly about you, but I'm going to kind of hold you, make you response able, right? Be accountable in a, in a bit, but feel free to, I think it's break time now. Yes, it's three o'clock. Uh, sadly, there's can only be one hour about these with these things, but it's, as I said, it's a workshop. We can do more if you want. I know it's uncomfortable. It's things that people don't usually in a professional setting do because they don't address the actual deep problem, how to get out of it. So anyway, give yourself a big round of applause. Yay! <laughs> so from me to you, that's a big clap because as I've said, the last one hour you spent for you, okay? Not for me. So thank you for playing along with the pledge. That's actually the most important part. You're welcome.